but before going to that uh, design and coding part we have to go to that manifest as we are going to use the phone's camera so we should have the run time permission for using the camera of the phone or the android device so here i am adding uses feature and here you just have to add the camera and here i have to add the full thing like android dot hardware dot camera dot any afterwards you have to add one more line for uses permission that was for uses feature so one more thing like android dot permission and then dot camera and then close it okay so uh, make sure it is uses permission okay instead of uses feature but don't worry we'll be correcting it so now you have to add some vector assets that that will be needed here and now i have to click on that clip part and again the clip part is being loading here the icons are being loading and we will be searching for that two icons for shifting the camera from a front camera to rear camera so that we can click on that icon and work as per the charm we are having okay so now i'm searching for camera and here the camera front and then the camera rear so again go to new vector asset and then click on this afterwards search for camera rear so you, you just have to search for camera and then the rear will appear there yes then click on okay finish okay so the drawable part is not yet finished we have to also add the custom borders that you have uh, shown in that uh, demo part so we have to create some drawable file so it is green border and we have to add it customizedly if we are wearing the mask then the green border will appear so here let me go to the full size of code here i have to give the code value for these like i have to create the layer list here instead of this selector so uh, first of all i have to remove this selector part within this and instead of that selector part we will be adding the layer list okay so let me add it here layer list then the same as xml ns android and then the url and it will be come up in that uh, suggestion part i think that uh, third one okay so now close it and afterwards i have to add the item here and after item you have to add the shape and i want the shape Uh, within a rectangle kind of shape i want so first of all shape then you have to give the value for that shape like line or oval what we are choosing as the rectangle okay then you have to give the stroke for that line as we are seeing that uh, the stroke should be you know visible so it is also customizedly add here so now the stroke and stroke and we should give that width as 15 dp height is also 15 dp and the color so uh, the color we will be adding later first of all that give that height 15 dp so okay now we have to add the color but it will show you error because 
we have to add it within that colors n resource file but we will be doing it don't worry about it okay so it is completed and now we have to add padding and the padding will be having the bottom 15 dp and from the left side also right side also and the top side also it will be 15 dp only then close it again the you have to give the corners for it and the corners will also have that values like bottom left radius 15 dp bottom right radius 15 dp and android radius 15 dp and then top left radius 15 dp and then close it okay so this is completed now you can see that let me close it okay but here we are having one error and that error because of color so we will be seeing how to remove this error you have to do nothing just uh, we will be checking up here something like uh, we have to add that green color actually so there nothing to do we will go into that values and then choose colors and now you have to just add this color what this color name name is green and now here you have to add it it is present in the android library itself so android such that color and then hollow green dark okay so it has come there and we are also seeing that this is ready and looking pretty good as you can see that the design is perfect and now we have to add the similar design for the red color also as if you are not wearing the mask then that rectangle will appear so let me right click here and click on new and again the drawable resource file here you have to give the name of that file call this red border click on ok doing the same so first of all let me remove all this and copy the whole thing from here you just have to change the color there so just paste it here and just you have to change color here and you have to add the color here so copy this and make it red and then just instead of green add red okay perfectly done now go back to this and here you can see that the red rectangle is ready to go and now we have to move to our main design design part but before uh, going to that we have to change the tint here as we want white only so uh, we have to remove this sixth line from here so let me remove this perfectly fine it appears to be white do the same for this camera front remove this tint and perfectly fine okay so uh, we are ready to move from here and go to layout then activity main okay then split it afterwards just to code and then perfectly fine remove this text view from here afterwards we have to give the customized design for the activity so first of all we have to add the camera x preview and then we have to give some property like width and height and then the id for this so id is preview underscore view this is done afterwards we have to add the floating button here and this floating button will be used for changing the camera from front to rear okay let me give its width and height as wrap content wrap content then 
we have to also give the id for this button underscore camera lens face okay then the margin from the bottom is 55 dp we have to give it here and then content description null again as we are using the parent layout constraint layout so we have to give the properties related to the constraint layout so adding it here bottom to bottom of parent and then end to end of parent again afterwards we have to give start to start of parent it is done then you have to add the source image that we have uh, taken in that uh, camera uh, that is uh, vector files in the drawable so yes the rear one is taken here we have to make a linear layout so uh, let me create a linear layout here with width and height as wrap content and the margin from the top side is 55 dp and then we have to give the gravity for this linear layout as center then the orientation for this linear layout is chosen to be vertical and then finally the constraint layout properties end to end of parent start to start of parent and the last one is top to top of parent done okay now we have to add the text view here this text view will show you the message if you are uh, wearing a mask or not it will show you two things with mask and without mask okay so it should be having some id here tb underscore output let me get the id okay this text view is completed again the final thing uh, progress var we have to add it here and give the width as 160 dp and the height will be wrap content okay now you have to give the id for this i will give pb underscore output okay and again you have to give the margin for this and margin from the top side is 10 dp okay then we have to give the end determinate value as false and then max 100 it should contain less text than 100 then again the progress is zero okay and here we have to give the style is style with cat dot app compact dot progress bar dot horizontal okay then after this linear layout we have to add the final frame layout so let me add the frame layout here with width and height as match parent match parent let me get the id for this id overlay okay so uh, our activity main xml design is completed and i will be just scrolling up and then let me show you the design okay it is looking good then let me scroll it so that uh, you can pause the video and check your code if you have write it correctly or not okay so we are done with the design part and now the final thing that the coding part begins but first of all you have to create a class kotlin class or so right click here and then kotlin class new then kotlin class click on it afterwards you have to give the name of your new kotlin class or file so i will be giving the name for this kotlin class as yub to rgb converter okay so we have to make this class and then click on enter but as you can see that various options are there okay so the class is completed completely created